Hey guys and girls, whoa, whoa, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful day on this beautiful channel. Hell yeah, this is a direct continuation. This is just where I left off in the last video because I don't want to make them too long. I don't want to do too much stuff in one video. So what we're going to be working with now, we already have all this stuff here. And you kind of got to watch the video previous video to get all this. But what we did basically is make three different uh, classes and that or two different classes that stem from one other class. So person is the base class. It has a name and an age. A student inherits from person so it gets the name and the age and all the public variables and public functions. And student has in itself a ID and credits as well its own name and age that comes from person and its own functions. Teacher has its own functions as well and its own variables but it also stems from person so what we did was we ran this program and we saw that all of these student teacher and person all have their own names as well as their specific variables uh, that the other ones don't now what we want to talk about now is polymorphism like i said and that is something is very basic for a big word it's virtual functions and that means that imagine a person a person like what does a person do and a teacher do and a student do and what does all people what do all people do but they do it in different ways right so that's kind of like you can have a a real world analogy would be like work a general person would work everyone would work but they would work in their own way student will work on a on a, maybe an essay teacher would work on something basically that is these all classes would have their own like function that would do its own thing but they would have the same name that is what a virtual function is so if you have a virtual function now we, we will have more of a programming kind of thing in here so get as string we have a virtual function all right so it returns a string and get a string and there we go this is a virtual function now what is this if you have a person class you define this in person that's CPP all right we're gonna define it here for person specifically and remember it's public so this function will be passed on you don't write virtual here by the way only in the prototype uh, what happens is it gets passed on to the other one so if if I don't make the same function in here it's gonna get this function the one defined in person so I'm gonna show you that now we want to return a name plus this name I showed you this a little quickly in the last one here I'm explaining it really and then uh, age uh, plus uh, to string this age plus a new line so here we go we made it a nice function which has the virtual keyword but it's still a regular function just like any other function we can call this now from all of these different classes so what I what if I do this p1 p1 dot get as string and then do this for all of these and we'll see that t1 and s1 and we'll see that it works there's no big deal I mean it's just a function oh, okay cool bro uh, yeah wait uh, you have to see out that way see out no 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 see out there we go there we go thanks for the help by the way if you're watching this video as well uh, okay so there we go we got all these different things going and we're just gonna see if that works yep Eve age Steve age Bob age see it worked for everyone because this function hasn't been overshadowed now you heard about overrided overwritten or whatever but this is called overshadowing when you have to do with uh, with classes and and uh, inheritance because the, this function is still will exist in that case it will just go down and see which one is appropriate to use all right and uh, so if I make one now I have one in person now we'll, we're gonna make one in student all right 
get a string and in teacher as well. Whoops. We're gonna make these two. They ha they all have the same name. All right. Remember that they all have the same name. So we'll start off with student. Um, here we go. Let's just copy this into student and change this to student because we're in the right class. And then this, remember, now we can't access these directly because they're private in person. So we have to use the get name function for its own name, strangely enough. Uh, get age function. And then we're going to add some stuff in here. We're going to add, we're going to add a student ID. All right plus this student ID plus uh, credits so we're going to add credits as well this credits alright so we got everything going we just need to do two string uh, hold up oh my god bro oh my god bro alright so I'm just going to copy two string Put it right there. Boom. Okay, so we have a. Oh my god, bro. Get the hell out of here, bro. Don't write those things. Okay, uh, someone wants to play with me. Well, I'm sorry about that, guys. Still, we have this in student now. We're going to make this in teacher. And then do teacher. Get name. Get string. Now, these don't exist anymore. But what we'll do is we'll just do salary. Oh my god. Bro. Salary. Salary. All kinds of money. Salary. Change this to salary. So remember, same name, same everything. It's just that it's it's polymorphism kind of. It's working. So see, a regular person just has his name and age. Then you get to the student and C++ is like, okay, oh damn, there is another virtual function. This is a virtual function, so let's check the other class if it has its own version of this function. It's like, okay, all right, let's do this. Let's use this function. And then you get to teacher, same thing happens, and you're like, okay, all right, let's use this. So we get the salary and we get the student ID and the credits. All right? That is called polymorphism. And just think of the name. Just think of it. Poly means several, and morphism means... Well, it's morphing, right? It's it's changing. So, several different inheriting classes and the same function changes. So that's the way it is. I hope you learned something. I hope this was useful to you in some way, shape, form. Keep learning, take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video. All right? Bye-bye.